Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to jump in and take a look at the install process for what I feel is the best OS for the RGB10. Not only because of the performance with configs like the Dreamcast Extreme, but because of the simplicity used in the partitions on your SD to allow for NTFS storage for your ROMs. What this means is even on your Windows PC, you won't need any special software to add your own ROMs to read ext4 and Linux file types, etc. To get started, we'll need to make sure we're using a PC and have an SD card reader as well as a spare SD card or one we're willing to wipe. This process is going to delete everything off the card, so be prepared and back up your data if you have not already. Now, after inserting your SD card into your PC, we're going to navigate to the website linked in the description below and download the zip file to our PC. We're also going to navigate over to Download Etcher so we can flash this to our SD card for use. Since I already have both of these installed on my laptop, I'm going to skip this step, but you will follow along with the prompts and continue if you haven't already. You're free to use any image flasher you'd prefer, but I use Etcher and it works well for me. After downloading, we'll need to go ahead and extract the 7-zip file which is compressed format. If you don't already have this installed, I'll go ahead and also leave it in the description so you can pause the video before following along further. Now that we've installed Etcher, we'll make sure our SD card is inserted into the PC and start flashing the image. To do this, we're going to open Etcher and choose Flash from File. This is going to open a window for us to navigate to our download folder and choose the image file here. Click Open to go back to the previous screen and select Target to choose our SD card. It's important to double check and make sure we're selecting the right path here because it's going to wipe the destination file and flash the OS image we've downloaded earlier. I have an 8GB card for this video, so we're going to choose and select that now. Now that we're able to click Flash, we'll get a prompt confirming our action. This step takes a few minutes to complete depending on the SD card's read and write speed, so we'll skip ahead here and we'll move over to the RGB10 itself. Now the flashing is complete, we can place our SD card back into the RGB10 and turn it on. What's going to happen now is it's going to expand our data partition for our ROMs so we can add our own games. This process usually takes about a minute to complete. Here we get a glimpse of the default menu for this OS. We're going to go ahead and power off our RGB10 and place our SD card back into the computer to finally add our games. Moving back to the PC, we can now insert the SD card into the computer and open the newly created partition called EasyROMs. Inside here, we'll see a list of folders for each system supported. We'll add a few games here and then jump back over to play some I've already installed previously on the RGB10. The Sega Genesis has a great selection of games and will have no problems running the full library on this device. PlayStation games play great and frame skip isn't necessary for any of them. Dreamcast for me performs better on the RGB10 than the Retroid Pocket 2. The 
That's going to be all for this video. I hope this gave you some insight installing your own OS for use on the RGB10 and other RK3326 chipset devices. I really appreciate you watching. Take care, and as always, game on. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and think about subscribing. Bye.